Hello guys, my name is Adhan Shukapur. I am your instructor. So uh, today we talk about again traffic manager. Okay, we'll see in my last video, we'll, we'll saw the lab uh, traffic manager with priority method. Today we see how we can uh, configure traffic manager with performance method, performance routing method. So I'm using uh, right uh, today performance method. Okay, and configure traffic manager. So uh, let's revise once that what performance uh, a method do. So what it's do, like imagine, this is my diagram. So imagine that I have East US region. In East US region, I have one VNet named East US. And in that we have one VM, okay? And this is my web server, you can say that. This is known as my web server. So I call it, this, this VM is known as web server one, okay? And uh, the same thing we have, uh, we have another location, Center India region. Okay, in that we have VNet Central India and in that we have VM2 and it's working as web server 2 okay web server 2 this is the web server 2 like you can say that okay now I add in both this VM in my traffic manager I'm using performance method in that case okay so what performance my uh, method do like imagine in this case like this is my test VM and this VM belongs to East US which location East US and I have another test VM test VM 2 and this VM belongs to central India location the reason you can say that okay so now what happens in that case now if uh, now imagine that with the help of this test VM I send one query DNS query to my traffic manager I want to access web server okay so now traffic what traffic manager do traffic manager checks Traffic manager transfer the query or redirect the queries to a uh, closest endpoints. Okay, so now if we talk about if I'm uh, uh, running my test, uh, if my running, uh, if I running my VM in East US, okay, and I uh, or you can say that if I send any DNS query to my East US VM, so what what traffic manager checks? Okay, the query goes to the query comes to East US, so it's automatically redirect the query to East US server. It's not redirect the India server. Okay, it's automatically uh, redirect the query to East US server because this is the nearest. Uh, uh, you can say that it, it, this is the nearest endpoint of this East uh, test VM, East US test VM. Now imagine if my query uh, comes to India, Central India test VM. So it's automatically send this, redirect this query to the Central India endpoint location, endpoint. Okay, or you can say that it automatically sends my query to Central India web server. Okay, so like this, you can see the performance uh, performance method too. Okay, it always uh, forward your query. It's always redirect your query with the nearest or you can say the closest endpoints. Okay, fine. So this is the way how we can uh, uh, how your performance method uh, working. Now, what we need? So we need these five things. I'm going to create two vnets in different regions. Like one one uh, I create in East US and one create I, I I'm using in Central India. So one is in East US and one is in Central India. Now I'm going to create four VMs. Two VM working as a web servers in different different locations, and two VM uh, two VM working as a test VM in different different locations. It means I create two VM in per uh, two VMs per location. One is web server and one is test VM. And same, I can create two VMs in Central location in Central India location. Over there, one is web server and one is test VM. Okay. Now configure DNS on both the web uh, web servers VM. Okay, and then create traffic manager and using performance method. Okay, so I'm going to create traffic manager and I'm, and I'm using performance method in that. Okay, and add both the or both the web servers and uh, as an endpoint in traffic manager. So I'm adding both the servers, both the VMs in traffic manager as endpoints. Okay, I hope you able to understand this. Now let's start the practical guys. So I'm already open my is your portal okay i just click on first virtual networks okay so i click on virtual networks now i click on add now i need to create two virtual networks so i'm using over there two locations or two regions east us and central india okay so first i'm going to create the resource group so this is known as uh, traffic manager resource group okay Click on OK now. This is the name of my resource group. Now I need to give the uh, uh, VNet names of VNet. This is for East 
e, uh, east us okay this vnet is for east us okay uh, locations are, are already set you can say that east us click on next it taking 10 dot slash 10 10 dot, uh, dot 00 slash 16 network okay and the default mask is automatic Sub subnet is already created click on security firewall is on, uh, firewall is disabled and dd os protection is on okay now need to give the tag tag is known as vnet okay and click on review okay so it's running by fi uh, final validation if everything is fine it's highlight the create option okay okay as you can see that validation pass now click on create so it's going to create my vnet one okay which i which i place in east use okay so as you can see that the deployment is completed i just click on home and click on virtual networks so as you can see that my vnet which is in east us is successfully created okay now i'm going to create another vnet and i put this vnet at different location so i'm using central traffic manager with reg okay this is known as vnet this is for central i'm sorry central india okay and i choose a location over there central india so here is central india okay now click on next okay so it's if you can see the automatically change the network okay and the subnet also security firewall disabled dd os protection is on and then you to give the name and the value and click on it checks the final validation if everything is fine click on create then okay because as you can see that uh, the deployment is completed i click on home and click on virtual network so as you can see that both the virtual networks are created one is in central india and one is in east us okay now so if i go to my uh, paint so you can say that i configured this okay so this is done this is done okay as you can see that this is done now i need to go to create four vms okay so let's start with getting four vms okay so i just click on home and click on virtual machines over there okay click on add so two vm i place in my uh, east us vnet and two vm i place in my central india okay so i use the same resource group traffic manager which i already created now this is the windows server one okay and i put this in east us okay i go for 2016 okay it's automatically taken the size now i need to give the administrator username and the password okay now uh, allow http the two ports okay and uh, everything is fine now okay everything is fine everything is fine okay yeah i don't want to go anything availability now click on disk okay premium ssd okay in networking it's automatically set vnet uh, east us okay fine so uh, i don't want any N nsg group and all those stuffs okay simple you need to click on next okay i don't want any monitoring click on next next you need to give the name and this is windows okay review and complete <coughs> It's running the final validation. If everything is fine, they're showing me validation pass. Okay, as you can see that validation pass, I just click on create now. So now I'm going to create my Windows Server 1 machine. Okay. So as you can see that uh, my first VM is created. Okay, deployment completed. I click on home and click on virtual machines. So as you can see that my windows server one is complete is, is created and it's it's in east west location okay now i'm going to create another machine okay that is windows server 2 and i put that machine in central us or uh, central india sorry okay okay so i just uh, choose my resource group and after that i need to give my machine name this is windows server 2 okay and the location of this is east uh, sorry central india central india okay i'm choose 2016 okay the size okay it's choosing the size automatically
okay so sorry guys uh, actually the i uh, have some issues i am not able to create virtual machine in central india so i changed the location now i am using east and west us okay so previously we already already used east and west us so uh, i am i am creating i am now i am going to create uh, east us in east us i am already getting uh, uh, vm vm net okay and i am already create one virtual machine east uh, east us now i am going to create west us in west us i am going to create vnet and i am going to create second virtual machine okay fine so actually i have some issues with my central india location actually when i going to create central in, uh, central uh, in central india location i am going to create virtual machine so is not able to create it properly okay so maybe it's the free uh, free trial that's why i'm not able to create so uh, i go for now first a uh, virtual network so as you can see that i create already vnet one in east us location okay now i'm going to create another vnet first okay i deleted central india location vnet okay and i am going to create this is for uh, vnet for west us okay so i use over there west us now here is west us west us location okay so the ip address and the subnet subnet uh, ip address is already there firewall is off dos ddos production is on okay and i go to go for name and vnet okay i'm going to review running final validation if everything is fine okay going to create okay so what i do i just change the location i'm not using uh, now central india instead of second central india i'm using west us okay Okay, so as you can see that uh, the the VNet is created now. So now we have two VNets now. One VNet is is in East US and another VNet is in West US. You can see that. Okay, VNet East US uh, uh, connected with East US location and VNet West US connected with West US location. Okay, now I'm going to again virtual machine. So I already created Windows Server one in East US location. Now I'm going to create Windows Server two <coughs> in West US location instead of Central India. Okay, so now I'm not using Central India anymore. Windows Server 2. Okay, and I'm using over there West US. West US. Here is West US. Here is West US 2. Go oh, down, down. Here is West US. Okay, and now I choose Server 2016 server. Okay, and you can see that the size is there. Okay, now I need to give the username and the password. Okay, now I need to allow HTTP and RDP two ports. Okay, click on uh, next using premium premium SSD by default disk. Okay, network and this time I can create with this with West US. You can say that. Okay, so this machine is automatically connected with West US. Okay, now I don't want to go for any monitoring tool. Click on next. Click on tabs. So give the name and this is for Windows. Okay, click on create plus review. Okay. So now it's running final validation. So you can see that validation pass. Click on create. Now I'm going to create. So now I'm going to create Windows Server. So this is going to creating Windows Server 2 machine in West US location. Okay. Okay. So as you can see that the deployment is completed. So now I go to click on home and click on virtual machine. So you can see that Windows Server 2 is put in West US now. Okay, now I'm going to create two test machine. One is in East US and one is in West US. Okay, so click on add. Now I'm going to create test machines. <clears throat> okay, so I click on uh, resource group. Okay, and then this is the test VM one. Okay, and I put this in East US. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, you go for 2016. Okay, you need to give the username and password <coughs> okay and uh, allow both the ports http and rdp click on next networking click on next pms is already there so it's connect with east us vnet you already see that okay so click on next uh, i don't want any monitoring click on next tags you need to keep the name tag name and the value Click on review plus create. So it's reviewing my settings. Okay, running final validation. If everything is fine, just click on create then. Okay, so now I'm going to create test machine, test virtual machine one in East US.
Okay, so as you can see that uh, the, uh, the deployment is completed. Click on Home, click on Virtual Machines. So you can see that the test VM1 is successfully created in East US. East US. Okay. Now I'm going to create test VM2 in West US. Okay. Click on Add. Use. Okay. Go for this is the test VM2. Okay. And it's created in West US. West US. Here it is West US. Okay. 2016 server. Okay, need to need to give the password. Okay, now need to select HTTP and RDP. Next, hard disk, premium SSD, networking. So it automatically choose West US network. Okay, and the IP address, subnet, my subnet, all, the, all things there. Management, I don't want any management options. Click on add, click on tag. Need to give the tag value and the tag name and values. Click on create plus review, review plus create. Okay. Now it checks the running uh, final validation. Okay. If everything is fine, they're showing me create option. Click on create. Now I'm going to create test virtual uh, test uh, VM and I put this VM in West US. Okay. Okay, so as you can see that uh, my test VM2 also is already created. Now click on home, click on virtual machines. So as you can see that I have uh, two uh, Windows server machines. You can see that this this uh, this server is one as a web servers. So I have web server one and one test VM is in East US and web server two and test VM2 is in West US. Okay, and it's all are running now. Okay, now I'm going to uh, configure DNS on this virtual machines only only for uh, my web servers machines okay who, who working as a web servers i'm not i am not configuring dns in my test virtual test uh, machines okay so click on uh, windows server one machine okay over there you can uh, found dns here is the dns name click on configure okay i need to give the name over there so this is my you can see that web web Server, uh, you that East US. Okay, I use this name web server East US. Okay, fine, simple. That's it. The domain name is, uh, is invalid, it contains only lower letters and numbers and hyphens. Okay, lower letters. So, you can use over there lower letters to go for web server East US. Okay, now it's, now it's taking. Okay, now click on save. Okay, so you can see that why I'm creating this DNS name because uh, the uh, the request always goes to DNS based. So if my server doesn't have a DNS, so my request, the, so this server is not able to resolve the uh, the request. Okay, so we, you already know that traffic manager works on DNS based queries. So right, so uh, our our both the uh, web servers has this DNS configuration. Okay, click on save now. So I'm going to save this. You can see that saving public address and saving this address. Okay. So as you can see that uh, the the configuration is saved. Now I go to my uh, virtual machine and go to my web server, uh, web, uh, Windows Server 2, and I change the DNS name over there also. Okay. I need to configure the DNS name over there. You can use web server west US. Okay. Like this. Now it's checking. It's okay. Fine. Okay. Web server west US. Click on save. So like this, you can say that save uh, uh, successfully. So what happens in that case? Like if you click on virtual machine. So if you can say that if if a test VM one sends any query, okay, it goes to server one, okay, and if test VM two sends any query, it goes to server two because test VM two works in West US and server two work, works in West US. Okay, fine. So we can configure DNS also. Now, uh, now after that, I'm going to. So if you see that uh, if you see the notes, so you can say that we already configured this also four VMs also, and we already configured uh, DNS on both the web servers also. Okay. Now I'm going to create a traffic manager. Okay. With using performance method. Okay. So let's create the traffic manager. So I uh, click on over there traffic traffic manager profile. 
the search one stuff in the profile now click on add <coughs> Okay. Okay. So as you can see that uh, I create, I'm going to create traffic manager. So uh, give the name of the traffic manager. But this one, as you can see that uh, TF. Traffic manager one. Okay. Now I'm choosing over there performance. Okay. Okay. I'm not able to save a space. So I don't want to give any space. Okay, now let's check once. Okay, it's already exist. So I go for TF01. Yes, okay. So this is known as the traffic manager name is I give TF01 traffic, uh, traffic ma uh, manager 01. I, I, I'm using the performance method over there. Okay, I just choose the resource group is uh, uh, traffic MGR okay fine click on create now so it's validating my uh, process you can see that okay so as you can see that uh, the traffic manager is successfully created okay now i click on traffic manager tf01 okay and i go to uh, endpoints over there click on endpoints okay so i'm going to add uh, both the servers and the, over there so click on add over there okay and this is endpoint as your endpoint okay fine now i'm give the name of their name is uh, this is endpoint one okay i give them i choose the name over there and you can use um, cloud services choose the cloud services no not cloud services I'm sorry Yeah, you can choose uh, over there public uh, public address, okay, public IP address, okay, and uh, click on target source. Choose a public IP address. So we have two. Uh, you can say that we have two virtual machines, okay. So right now I'm adding first Windows Server one, okay. So click on Windows Server one, okay, and click on OK, okay. So it's adding my Windows Server one first, okay. Okay, so as you can see that my my endpoint one is successfully created. Now click on add add and now this is my endpoint 2 i give endpoint 2 name okay choose over there ip address public ip address and choose right now server 2 windows server 2 okay this is for the so click on okay now okay so as you can see that it's adding the endpoint 2 as well so you can see that see uh, my endpoint 1 is in east us and my endpoint 2 is in west us Okay, fine. So my endpoints are configured successfully. Okay, now I'm going to uh, uh, create, or you can say that I'm going to uh, configuring my server as a web servers. Okay, so click on home, click on virtual machines. Okay, and click on first server one. Okay, click on connect RDP. So I download RDP file now. Okay, same I go to server two download rdp file i go for test vm also i just download rdp files for my test vms also test vm1 and test vm2 okay first time uh, i am uh, i am connecting uh, windows server 1 and windows server 2 machines okay so click on windows server 1 okay click on connect so it's connecting you can see that okay so I need to give the username and password. Okay, so I'm taking remote. Okay, so as you can see that I take all my uh, VMs remote. Okay, now I'm going to uh, create Windows Server 1 and Windows Server 2 as web servers. Okay, so right now I'm in Windows Server 1. Click on add roles. And click on next. Click on next. As you can see that I'm working in Windows Server 1. IP address is 10.0.0.4. It's a private IP address. Okay. And uh, I go to roles. Over there I just check IIS web server. Add features. 
click on next next okay after that I am using uh, default rules okay I am not using anything click on next simple and enable automatic restart okay click on install I do the same thing in my web server 2 also okay so I minimize this go to server 2 add rules click on next next okay as you can see that I am in windows server 2 okay I just choose web server over there also add features click on next click on next again click on next okay I just enable uh, automatic restart okay click on yes and install okay so in both my servers you can see that it's running IS okay the service is already showing to install okay okay so as you can see that uh, in my Windows Server 1 okay installation succeeded okay and in my Windows Server 2 also I successfully installed IS servers okay now I just simply click on close and close over there okay now I switch to my Windows Server 1 again first close and close now I need to modify my page okay the default page so I open my file explorer okay I go for this PC NC drive over there inet pub www root okay I might modify this page uh, this image okay you can call this is my so I mention our name okay so as you can see that I modify the pages okay so in my uh, web server one You can see that um, in web server one, I, I modify web server east US. This is this is working as a is this this server as is, is working as a web server in east US. Okay, and in my web server two, okay, I modify the page name. I modify the page name as uh, web server west US. Okay, so this server is working in west US. That's why I told known as web server west US. Okay, so now let's see let's the test okay so now uh, i am going to my test vm so if you see that if i click on virtual machines so my test vm1 belongs to east us so if if i uh, send query to test vm it automatically goes to east us means it the, the the request goes to windows server 1 so let's see if i go to my test vm okay and i open internet explorer and i first copy the path so I go to my traffic manager okay so as you can see that I, I, I uh, come to my traffic manager and I copy the path so you can see that when I open my uh, traffic manager one okay and here is the DNS path I need to copy this path okay now I'm going to my test VM okay internet explorer Okay, don't use click on okay simple and I need to give the path so I just click on there copy the first path I hope I'm able to copy the path here you can see that I already copied the path okay and I simply click on um, you can see that I just go to big one. Okay, this is the path. I enter it. 
okay now you can see that the request goes to where see i just copy the path uh, enter it and you can see that the request goes to automatically east us why because my t my v, a test vm1 is working in east us you can see that see if you see if you see in the figure you can see that test vm works in east us the request goes to windows server 1 and i hope and you can see that the page is open is in east us okay if i go to my um, test vm2 okay and i just try to access my internet server over there okay so now request goes to west us server right so let's see okay so now i open uh, my internet server now i copy the path okay so you can see that i paste my path this is the path of my traffic manager I okay i copy the path and i enter it so you can see that the request goes to on which server now you can see that the request goes to west us because my uh, my test vm2 is in west us so the request goes to automatically to my west us server okay so you can see that see so it's open my west us server page web server west us okay so that's the way okay how to configure uh, traffic manager with the help of performance routing method okay so i hope you able to understand this video okay please like and share the video video with your friends if you have any doubt anything please comment me on this video thank you for watching guys